There are many challenges in today's industry for dairy farmers. Controlling and managing dairy effluent is just one of them. Victor Rodwell farms with his family at Boyanup, Western Australia, and is a leader in innovation of best practice dairy effluent management. Well, we trade as Rodwell Farms. Um, it's business that's in partnership with myself, my wife and my mum, based in Boyna. We've got a 50 unit row tree. Uh, we're going to peak at uh, just over 800. Uh, we milk twice a day. Plenty of milk and, and plenty of um, effluent. The concept that we've tried to follow is about utilising all the, all the um, I suppose, opportunity um, within our business and one of the areas that we identified was the waste or the, the nutrient that is running off the yard and how we, we could use that um, to, to be more profitable and, and to utilise it better. Well, with the audit that we did uh, as part of the project, um, we did all the testing and we found out that there's certain levels of nutrient that um, every megalitre holds um, added up to quite a significant saving in um, nutrient that we didn't have to buy in to, to put on the crops. In the first year that we did the, the maize, which was the Pacific crop that we targeted because it's highest um, nutrient use crop. Um, we actually grew the crop and we reduced the fertiliser input by um, 60%. Really gave us confidence to, to extend and that's what we've done in 2007, 2008 is extended onto a larger area. We added up, I know, be in the vicinity of, um, for our size herd, between the vicinity of five to seven thousand dollars of savings a year. What it does to the soil is actually quite um, quite incredible and our aim was to use it for our benefit but ultimately the benefit will be the environment long term because uh, we are using it responsibly and um, and yeah long term the environment will be better off. We do um, regular soil testing up to two and three times a year um, and we just watch where it's applied and you just got to be careful where, where and when it's applied. We, we took the project on ourselves and later on we were able to get some grants to help us. Well the first three years we saved we saved and made back our money easily. Uh, that's without counting the value of the crop that we grew that we hadn't been able to grow before. With the planning process we had to allow for large volumes of heavy, heavy effluent um, and because of that we allowed for um, large pipes and a large traveller with um, a large orifice so we don't have any blocking problems. So that's, yeah, allowed us to keep a, sim a simple system. Part of the planning process is understanding how much area you need to allow for your um, infrastructure so you do have the ability to rotate where you put it. Yeah, it's really important, otherwise you do start to get um, overloading.